It was actually a pretty nice night last night for a football game. Yeah, feeling more like the beginning of the season weather-wise, yeah. but things are going to change yeah, by the time we cooler. reach this week. Yeah, right now, 62 degrees in the metro. We are looking at a south-southeast wind at 6 miles per hour. We're expecting a lot more wind on the way for tomorrow. Temperatures across the north into the 50s now. 56 in Las Vegas, 54 in Santa Fe, 54 also for Taos down to the south. Temperatures still on the warm side. We're in the upper 60s in Roswell, 70 degrees on the nose in Carlsbad, and into the mid-60s from TRC down to Deming Silver City already dropping into the upper 50s. We'll spread the picture out and we'll show you that we've got Storm systems continuing to go well to our north as a ridge of high pressure continues to dominate our weather. But this ridge is starting to break down. If you remember last night, these storm systems to our north were a little farther to the north. And now we're starting to see them sag a little closer into our direction. And that's going to be the trend over the next couple of days. And that will allow for a storm system to actually pull in some cooler air into New Mexico. So for tonight, another cool night on the way with mostly clear skies. Even though we're looking at the warm afternoons, we are still doing a very good job of cooling things off at night with all the radiational cooling, all that heat escaping into the atmosphere. During the day tomorrow, another warm day. In fact, we could be hitting a few record highs, especially across the eastern part of the state. The winds will be kicking up as well, gusting up to around 50 miles per hour across northeastern New Mexico. Then on Tuesday, that cooler air starts to that starts to uh, funnel into the eastern part of the state. We're going to be looking at temperatures dropping by as much as 30 to 40 degrees across eastern New Mexico from what we see during the day tomorrow. And here's a look at those winds for tomorrow. As that storm system starts to pass to our north, we'll start to see those winds, especially just east of the central mountain chain, gusting up tomorrow afternoon. And then we'll get a break from the winds overnight tomorrow night. And then a breezy day on the way for Tuesday. We do have those wind advisories in effect across east central New Mexico and across the southeast as well, where we could be looking at gusts up to around 45 to 50 miles per hour. Here's a look at southern Colorado for the day tomorrow. Temperatures into the 50s, winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour, and then those temperatures cooling off by the end of the week. Over the northwest, winds gusting up to 35 miles per hour. Still on the warm side for tomorrow afternoon, but will eventually drop to the mid-50s by the end of the week. Over the southwest, winds gusting up to 35 miles per hour. Temperatures well into the 70s, but we start to see those temperatures drop. We're back into the low 60s by Thursday. Over the southeast, winds gusting up to 45 miles per hour. Highs well into the 80s, but will drop into the mid-40s by Thursday with better chances at showers toward the end of the week. Over the northeast, winds gust up to 50 miles per hour. A warm afternoon on the way, but we drop to only the upper 30s by Wednesday. Over the northern mountains, winds gusting up to 45 miles per hour. Temperatures dropping to the mid-40s by Thursday. In the east mountains, winds will gust up to 45 miles per hour here as well. We'll see afternoon highs in the 50s by the end of the week. In the metro, winds gusting up to 35 miles per hour. Very warm afternoon on the way with highs in the mid-70s, but we drop into the mid-50s by Thursday. And of course, you'll have to watch that wind during the day tomorrow. Perhaps a better chance at showers with the storm system moving into our direction next weekend. Yeah, that looks interesting next yep. Sunday. Yep, we'll have to watch it. All right, thank you, John. Appreciate